One public relations expert has identified three major reasons why Meghan Markle's possible memoir won't be as successful as Prince Harry's spare. According to one public relations expert, Meghan Markle's projected memoir will not be as successful as spare. Since the publication of Prince Harry's autobiography in January, many have speculated on whether his wife will follow suit and write her own. Spare was revealed a year and a half before it was distributed to the public in multiple formats on January 10, 2023. Although there is no assurance that Meghan will write a memoir, experts are already speculating on how it would compare to Harry's. I think it would sell significantly less than Harry's memoir PR specialist Edward Coram James told dexpress.co.uk. This is due to a variety of factors. Harry's autobiography didn't live up to the hype. According to the expert Harry's book sold so well because of the potentially explosive claims thought he he was about to make. He went on to say, had it been marketed as just another autobiography of someone famous with no suggestion of explosive accusations the numbers would have been in line with most other autobiography s which are substantially lower than the numbers that it actually achieved. He noted that this could mean Megan's will be less successful because people are unlikely to think that anything explosive will be contained. The hit piece nature of the surrounding marketing which essentially promised shattering allegations about the world's most famous family made by none other than one of the family's most senior R members peaked market interest Mr. Coram James added. However the revelations did not live up to the hype in the end. While Harry accusing William of K and knocking him over in a brotherly quarrel is not ideal for the royal family it is not enough to bring the institution to its knees. According to the expert Harry's memoir didn't live up to the hype despite the expectation of explosive revelations. Megan's would most certainly have a much less scandal-rife setting because to the expectation of claims and the fact that most of the allegations have already been made. As a result Mr. Coram James stated Megan's will be more in line with standard autobiographies which, as previously stated, have much lower uptake. He also stated that the couple's popularity has decreased as a result of the royal family's criticism milliseconds. Further the public has reacted with widespread disapproval of the take nature of the Sussex's biographical pieces Mr. Coram James stated. They swung for the royals and in some ways missed. As a result the Sussex's popularity has suffered significantly. I would suggest that a very straight line may be drawn between and then another, more or less straight line between their drop in popularity and the loss of some of their important contracts such as the one with Spotify. In a nutshell, whereas the hit pieces may have generated flash in the pan success and short-term income, there's a very persuasive argument to be made that it badly hurt their long-term commercial viability. Finally, there is a strong sense of issue fatigue among the public regarding the Sussexes, the analyst concluded. Put simply, when you endlessly hear about one person, couple or event, you start to switch off. In response to the couple's recent media dominance, he stated, the public appears to have become bored of the topic. Combine these three things and I think it's very unlikely that a Meghan autobiography will be able to achieve anywhere near the same numbers as Harry's he concluded. Meghan Markle had a string of tiny roles in TV dramas and movies before landing her big break on Sui TS. Meghan Markle had a string of minor appearances in soap operas and blockbusters before landing her big break on Suits. The Duchess of Sussex began her acting career in 1995 on the sets of Married with Children and Jen Earl Hospital both of which her father was the director of photography and lighting for. She later appeared in episodes of CSI, Miami 90210 without a trace fringe and till death, she too did. Megan has also appeared in the Robert Pattinson thriller Remember Me the Jonah Hill comedy Get Him to the Greek and the Jennifer Aniston comedy Horrible Bosses. In 2011 she joined the cast of the legal drama Suits as the ambitious and skilled paralegal in the Anne attorney Rachel Zane. For seven years the Duchess co-starred in the show with Gabriel Macht and Patrick J. Adams who play at her love interest Mike Ross. She reportedly got £37,000 per episode while filming over 100 episodes for the popular show. Meghan's earnings from her stint on Suits will have continued in the form of residuals and royalties. 
The show is available on the NBA Peacock streaming platform as well as Netflix where it is still on E of the most popular shows. Her last acting performances before beginning her relationship with Prince Harry in 2016 were as Cause Sandra Brand in the Romcom Daters Handbook and Kristen in the crime film Antisocial. The Duchess's earnings assisted the pair in purchasing a $21 million 16 bedroom mansion in Montecito, California after the step down from the roles as senior royals. According to Forbes, Meghan contributed an estimated $2 million, with the remainder coming from Prince C. Harry's mother Princess Diana.